So my name is Zenat Potia, and I'm here with Mind the Moment Tuesdays brought to you by Point 32 Health and Tufts Health Plan. Good morning. And I'm delighted to be with you this morning. It's been it's been a while and we're in a new season. At least in New England, we're in a new season. Although some might say that summer is still still very much here. So just gonna wait another moment or two for folks to come in and get settled. And while that is happening, just encouraging you to start to land in your body. So if you're here beginning to feel the feet touching the earth, starting to settle and arrive. And whatever that looks like, for some that may look like doing some stretches, some shaking, tapping, anything that helps you to connect, to know there is a body right now. There is a body, it's not just all in our mind, in our heads. Okay, so we'll, we'll get started, we'll officially begin. So before we uh, go into our connection and meditation, I'd like to mention a new mindfulness series, which we've been offering every Wednesday afternoon in September from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And this is open to anyone at no cost. The series is entitled Healthy Habits to Get the Most Out of Every Moment and features our instructor, Kel Juilliard. Kel will be exploring practices designed to help you feel energetic, vital, and confident throughout every phase of life. The topics will include maximizing the built-in powers of our brains, forging strong and lasting connections, and enjoying our purpose-driven life to the fullest. No previous experience of mindfulness or special equipment is required. And once again, everyone is welcome. And if you happen to have missed any of the sessions that have so far taken place, recordings are available on our Mind the Moment YouTube app our page, and I'll drop the links into the chat where you can access the live sessions as well as the recordings. So let me just take a moment to do that. And feel free to copy and paste those links if you don't have them already. So one is how to join and the other is the recordings. And it's a really kind of cool thing. I like this possibility of their recordings because then, um, you know, while wash, washing dishes, for instance, if you have a few minutes, you can uh, catch up. And um, I always feel I feel very strongly about this because I've, I've been on the other side, uh, maybe often, maybe too often where but if the mind is left without anything, it's just kind of rudderless, aimless or mindlessness, then it tends to go toward the rumination, the worry, the projections, anybody relate to this? It just kind of happens. Left to its own devices, not a great thing. And so it's, it takes intentionality and effort and energy to direct the mind in a wholesome direction, to, to guide it, to feed it, to nourish it, to cultivate it in a skillful way. And so that's just an idea. I'm sure you have many others that you do. Um, in terms of the recordings of how to live each moment um, mindfully um, in a nourishing way. Okay, so um, let's get started. I'd like to start with um, just a centering meditation for about five minutes. And then um, we'll do a quick check in and then we'll have a longer guided practice. Okay, so I'm going to invite the bell. So 
So settling in however you are able to. Eyes can be open or closed. And please do what is of benefit and let go of the rest. Remember that you have choice and agency. It's your practice in a sense. It's your heart, mind and body experience. Beginning to come into stillness. Allowing the system to anchor, to settle, to take some root. Again, there's that image of left to one's own devices. The mind can just be like a floating leaf, just floating and landing wherever and getting pulled into directions that sometimes get us into trouble or tie us up in knots. And so when we take our power back in practice, we get to choose, we get to decide in a sense to create the conditions. And of course the mind will do what it does, but we can create the conditions to stabilize, to ground, to settle, to anchor, to regulate, to land, to arrive. In this moment, exactly how it is. So we're not pretending or presuming. But we can see for ourselves, hey, when I just stop, when I say no in a gentle boundary way to my inner machinations, what happens? What shifts? What opens? What becomes possible for me? And when I can stop and settle with kindness, with the sense of unconditional acceptance, it's okay to be who and where I am. So if that appeals to you, that phrase, you can drop it in for yourself. It's okay to be who and where I am. Letting go of the need to change, control and fix. We do that anyway, all the time. In this moment, right now, it's okay to be who and where I am. And that's making space for all the parts that might be here. The tired part, the sleepy part, the anxious part, the confused part, the joyful part, the excited part, the sleepy, dull part, the regretful part, the shamed part, whatever, all of the parts are welcome are included and we can open to them with curiosity, with care, with courage, with compassion. What's here right now? What's here? We're actually gonna just shift in the sense of keeping the practice going. We'll just continue with our meditation. And this can just be the theme for today. This interplay between checking in to see what's here, which parts are here, which ones need to be seen and heard, and really practicing deep listening, deep and generous listening to sensations, to the breath, to emotions, to thoughts, 
not trying to make anything happen or make anything go away, but really opening to, opening the doorway of mindfulness to this inner landscape. And we put aside those habitual tendencies to change, control, and fix. And we take up the practice of deep listening, of looking, of sensing. We can just rest there. That can become a resting place. It's an, it's an active resting place, not one where we're going to sleep but when we're starting to open our eyes, the inner eyes of wisdom and compassion, and we're just observing non-judgmentally, we're meeting whatever is here with kindness. So I'd like you to practice in this way. And then, you know, this, this phrase, when you rub against something that has some charge, some pain, some discomfort, you can say it's okay to be who and where I am. You can even address a part. If a part is asking for something or is kind of struggling, it's okay to be who and where you are. I see you. I feel you. I understand. As a way to work with your system. I will have a few minutes in silence.
Just checking in. How is the mind? How is the body? How is the heart? As we start to bring our meditation to a close, I encourage you to tend to those parts once again with kindness and care. And if any wishes or needs were expressed, this was a practice of getting in touch with our feelings and needs. So you might even drop the question, what is needed? What is needed today? And see what comes up. What is truly needed for this mind, heart, body system to flourish, to be nourished? And it can be simple things, but sometimes we're just not aware. We get so lost in the to-do list and the in the momentum of the day that we forget to check in. And then just letting those parts know that you'll do your best. So thank you for sharing those needs and you'll do the best you can with that information today. It's just simple intention. May we be loved, protected, guided, and held. May all beings everywhere, without question and without exception, be loved, protected, guided, and held. May it be so. your time as you transition out of the meditation you might even uh, look away from the screen around your space taking in shapes and colors you might do a little stretch or a little movement i just want to thank you for your practice and your kind attention and i invite you now to connect as a community so let's use the chat and please uh, feel free to share your intention or anything you noticed or observed in the practice. It's a very open reflection uh, prompt. So um, anything on your mind that you feel called to share it could even just be a one word checkout. And we have these rituals, you know, there's a, as human beings, we gather in circle. We've been gathering in circle ancestrally for millions of years. And so we gather, we come together for a wholesome purpose. It's so beautiful to spend one's time this way or to choose to spend one's time this way. And so I'd like to have a way that we can close it out. So please uh, flow into the chat with an intention for your day once again anything you noticed or observed in the practice or anything on your mind. Nice. Thank you, Loretta. So yes, uh, feeding our minds with uh, something positive or onward leading as you're doing other tasks. So, you know, sometimes um, I, I want to uh, qualify that with a little bench of salt, which is sometimes it's, it's enough to just be doing the dishes and to be fully immersed in that. But sometimes it can be helpful to kind of add something and sort of notice, you know, what am I adding? Am I adding or even while exercising or something, um, a show, entertainment? It's fine, but it's kind of limiting in what it offers us. Or can it be something that's that's onward leading? That's onward leading. Dishwashing, <laughs> yeah. Acceptance from Denise, acceptance of where I am in my day and my to-do list. 
Beautiful. Yeah, putting down the pushing. Freedom from Susan, beautiful. Yeah, and, and from Loretta, not getting buried in our to-do lists. They're always going to be there. You know, they're, that that to-do list is like almost like an oppressive thing. It, it's useful. It, it helps us go through life and get things done. But we don't need to be ruled by it. Because when we're ruled by it, then there is no space to really be with the unfolding, to see what, what might emerge the possibility of being in this moment and seeing, you know, what is needed right now? What is really in my best interest? Is it that that busy work that doesn't really um, impact me in any way right now? Or do I really need to just sit still? Do I really need to just have a cup of tea? You know, take 10 minutes to look away from my screen and just enjoy have a cup of tea. So I encourage you to find these glimmers in your day, things that bring joy, that, that can uh, water the seeds of gratitude and appreciation. And not so much in an escapist, numbing way, but in, in a really intentional way. No, my system needs this right now. You know, we can put a boundary. No thank you to this, but then choosing this other thing choosing it rather than mindlessly going to the chips or whatever we might be doing also with a wish to find some relief right so those those activities are coming um, the so-called self-care to find some relief but they they sort of are, are a dead-end road in some sense so we can we can discern for ourselves what is actually of benefit and what is um, just a way to cover up the discomfort so I encourage you to play with that. And um, let's just take another minute in quiet since we have time before we wrap up. We'll just, um, I'll offer a little loving kindness meditation. So if you'd like to join me, once again, just getting quiet and offering this sincere wish, this blessing Offering it to yourself. May I be well. May I be peaceful. May I be fully at ease. May I know I'm held in the great compassion. May I be filled with loving kindness. May it be so. And then any, any of those phrases that resonated for you, offering it yourself, to yourself. May I be well. May I be well. And this can happen, you know, multiple times a day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, in the midst of, in the midst of, to just get quiet. And sometimes I, I qualify it. So if I'm in some difficulty, I'll say, may I be well with this anxiety? May I be well with this uncertainty? Or whatever it is, may I be well? And this is a wish for balance, for steadiness, for well-being. You know, this word well comes from the old English when we, wa we can water that desert of insufficiency, of terror, with, may it be filled with wellness, with this watery goodness of feeling resourced so we can move through our life, you know, not yelling and shouting and at our wit's end, but really from a resourced place, okay? So I wish you a good day and um, thank you once again for being here and I look forward to seeing you another time, okay? Goodbye.